Okay, so we have completed Tower 1 and 2. Um, I haven't really started on Tower 3 yet, or it's still in the planning phase. Uh, I haven't really decided what I want uh, what I want to include in them. Um, but uh, we're just going to go over some of the uh, armor variants I have collected uh, throughout the uh, my journey, uh, so to say. Um, so today is uh, we're going to go over all the new articulated drop pod figures. So we're not going to... Well, the drop pod ODST figure. So we're not going to talk about the elites uh, from the older drop pods. Uh, we're not going to talk about the older articulations, which means we will not be talking about the, um, uh, so to say, the, the the good the good drop pod. Um, so these ones actually just came with like a clamshell design. It's just uh, two halves, um, and then you get the ODST. You get a weapon. You get the little uh, brick with the uh, ODST. Uh, well, the halo. Uh, printed on there and then we have the new drop pods which came from uh, came with the drop pod and you kind of use the slam design to pop the door out um, so there's not a whole lot to say about these as far as uh, to watch out uh, when you buy them uh, the older ones you do have the black um, so you do have the black uh, which is uh, just all black and then it's like the kind of a gray undersuits um, or these are what we call the uh, shark teeth ODSTs and this one's green uh, it's really hard to tell it looks almost black but like under like a stronger light you can see a little bit of green like a really dark forest green kind of um, undersuit is black and then we have the white it's a uh, very self-explanatory uh, just uh, all this uh, pearl white color uh, there's not a whole lot of printing of the shark teeth to get a little um, a print on the tab on the uh, chest piece. And then you have the blue ODST. I try to give them the weapon that they're supposed to come with. Um, so these are not the original weapons, but uh, I'm just going to give them one so they don't feel uh, left out. And of course, uh, as far as I can tell, most of the ODSTs do have the fingerprints. I didn't really check if the white one's supposed to come with. Uh, this is just the ones uh, I got. That uh, you come with the uh, gray fingers, whereas all the other ones do have uh, prints. And yeah, this is the red one, or the, <clears throat> what they call the crimson drop pod. Uh, it's more of a wine color. Uh, it's um, tuned down, so it's not like bright red, not like uh, blood red. Um, I actually do like this one. <laughs> it took me a while to get, so. And then we have the copper. Um, again, there's a print on the fingers. Uh, shark teeth. And then we have the silver. Um, mine doesn't come with print on the fingers, so I'm not really sure if this one's supposed to come with it or not either. Uh, I haven't really uh, tried to confirm that. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> so this is the silver one that came with the, uh, um, the little... Flashlight unit, um, it's basically a rook, a Mickey's helmet. And then at the end we have the gold drop pod. So out of these, um, they pretty much have a standard coloring. So if you just match the color of all the armor pieces, you will get all the ones you're supposed to have. Your exceptions will probably be these two. <clears throat> so the silver one, it does come with a knife, just a black knife. Uh, it's basically the same knife as Buck, but you do want to make sure uh, he come with one. Um, if you, if yours doesn't come with one, a couple ways to get him, uh, get a knife. One is uh, you can get a Series 1 Buck, which I already went over in the uh, ODST level. Uh, it's going to cost you a bit. Or you can go for the uh, ODST Customizer Pack. Uh, if you want one sealed, I think that one goes for like $50 as well. Uh, but if you get one loose, uh, I have came across a couple in lots, so it's not too, too terribly bad to get. Uh, but just make sure that you uh, do get the knife with your silver ODST to save the trouble. Um, the gold ODST, he actually does come with a um, ammo belt around the ankle, and as you can see, I don't have one. Um, I'll have... Uh, the ODST with uh, what ammo belt on the uh, other group, but yeah, um, that ammo belt is gold color. Uh, it is uh, 
exclusive. So uh, if you do get a gold ODST, make sure yours come with it. I do have a sealed one, so I'm not too worried about it. Uh, I just get one to complete the collection. So, you know, it's it's whatever at this point. So that's the Shark Teeth ODST, and then we have the uh, the newer drop pots. Starting from the back are the ones I'm, I don't like as much to the one I really like. Um, so this is uh, Operation Cobra. So all of them are going to have the uh, ODST print on the chest. Uh, some of them you will be able to see ODST like on the banner at the bottom. It's really hard to see. Some of them you will be able to see ODST on the banner at the bottom, but uh, most of them is probably going to be like just print it all together uh, it's not that great of a print but I don't blame them it's very small details aside from that on the ODST themselves there's not uh, really any um, prints uh, all the weapons they come with is going to be the same color themed and then it will have like slight print so this one you have the uh, Halo 5 rocket launcher with a uh, little red stripe on both sides um, I mean, and technically it is exclusive weapon, but it's not too, too important. I'll show you where all the uh, prints are on the weapon. So if you do want to get one with with the weapon, just, uh, you know, what to look for. So this is Operation uh, uh, it's a Cobra. Uh, <laughs> so it's, it's about the same color as the, uh, the two that came with the um, Advisor Mode uh, Brutes in that uh, Versus pack does come with a uh, comm unit so uh, make sure uh, you're not getting those two mixed up or someone not trying to like sell you for another one and then we have operation uh, guillotine i think came with uh, romeo's helmet and romeo's shoulder piece um so same as green and like this uh muted white coloring uh it's four weapons print it does get a um, little green print on the solcom on the front and you get a target indicator. There's no print on the target indicator as far, far as I'm aware. So he does get two weapons. And this is what the uh, ammo belt looks like. So if the gold one does come with one, it will be on the uh, right ankle and in gold. But, uh, you know, mine doesn't come with one. So <laughs> don't do what I did. <laughs> All right. And then we have... Operation uh, is a Veritas, a Veritas. Uh, so the same helmet as the Galatine or Romeo, and it does come with an AR that's printed. I do like this one actually. Uh, the orange print on the AR is very noticeable. There is no uh, railing, weapon rails on the gun, so you cannot attach any flashlights or anything like that. So what you see is what you get. And then we have Ocean Breaker. So mine, the print is uh, pretty messed up. Uh, I got a little scuff right out of the box. Um, so if you compare with the uh, other ones, well, this one's pretty hard to see. So this is a good print, actually. You can kind of see the ODST at the bottom. Uh, you can see the skull with the flame. And this one is got scuffed to like no tomorrow. It's probably like right after they changed the ink or something. <laughs> Just uh, too much ink coming out, too much power in that uh, nozzle. Uh, it does come with the uh, Halo 5 uh, shotgun, uh, the 343 air shotgun with uh, blue print on the uh, cheek rest. And not that you want to rest your cheek on, but. Uh... So I actually do like this guy. I really like the color, it's very clean and simple. And then this is the first drop pot I got actually. So this is a uh, stone breaker. Uh, he came with, he comes with the um, sniper rifle, printed scope, the little red dot. And at the back, it's uh, also red in the uh, target indicator. <clears throat> um, it's not a whole lot to say. I do like this one. Um, a lot of times uh, you can use, you can use this one to customize for Mickey. The color is very similar. All you have to do is pop and swap the uh, uh, shoulder and you pretty much get it. And this is the one that a lot of people do like. This is uh, Flood Hunter. 
Um, so the printing is on the uh, nozzle or the uh, nozzle guard of the uh, or heat guard of the flamethrower. You get a yellow stripe on both sides. And he is just seeing this gunmetal print uh, with a yellow stripe on the on the top and black and yellow. It's pretty cool looking actually. I do have two of this guy. I think I have I have too many of this one and I have two of this or three, can't remember. And lastly we have Operation Throne. So this one actually took me a while to hunt down. Um he he did came in the uh the first wave of the new drop pods along with Veretis and Stonebreak. But uh, these two, it does came with reissues, uh, so it also came in later waves as well, so they're easier to obtain, whereas this one only came in one wave. And he does have a little printed SMG on the handle. Um, it's either the handle or the magazine, but I think I'm pretty sure that's the handle, because the ODST's uh, magazine pop out from the side, right? <laughs> I can't remember, it's been a uh, been a while since I played uh, ODST. So I'll go ahead and stick that in. So as you can see, he also came with the uh, ammo belt. Uh, the ammo belt most commonly will come in this uh, gunmetal silver or brown, um, which really emphasizes on you definitely do want to get the gold one with your gold ODST. Um, so again, don't uh, <laughs> don't do what I did. So out of all the ODSTs, this one's probably the harder one to get. Uh, in the uh, the new drop pods, um, and then the gold one is uh, a little bit harder to get on the older one. Maroon is slightly difficult as well. It's not a whole lot of people have them, um, and then followed by probably silver. There's a lot of silver out there, but gold and maroons, um, it's not a whole lot. And the new ones are actually fairly easy to obtain. So typically, if you want to get these. Um, ten dollars is the MSRP. Uh, if they if it does come with drop pods, if it doesn't come with drop pods, um, probably gonna want to go for like six or seven at most. Um, now operation throw, I can see him go up to fifteen. Twenty is a little too high in my opinion, but fifteen is a decent price if you really want them. Just because they only issued him once and it's uh. What, 2018 I think um, whereas the shark teeth now ooh, MSRP for shark teeth are five dollars but it's uh, been some time uh, so I'm not surprised to see these going for about ten dollars per especially the uh, the easier to obtain ones like the blue the white the uh, the copper the green and uh, the black they are not too too terribly to obtain um, now the Silver one uh, it can go up a little bit higher, like twelve maybe. Co uh, and then the gold and the maroon, um, they will go up slightly more. So we'll be looking at about fifteen twenty range for those. But yeah, that's uh, that's all the ODST drop pods. Let me know uh, if you have these. If you don't have these, which ones do you have? Which ones do you want? If you are going for this collection, it's actually pretty easy to obtain. A lot of times uh, when people are selling they, they tend to sell a whole group at a time so um, chances are you will have most of this collection if you do buy your your ODSTC a lot so alrighty and we'll move on to other armor variants in the uh, next video and have a good one bye